Hey, it's Arthur here from the Vault Pro Scooters, and today we're gonna to be doing another custom build. This custom build is gonna be featuring black rad crowbars that come with a five degree back sweep, standard size diameter. Installed on them are blue tilt continental grips, which are my personal favorite, just because they're really nice and comfy. Blue Urban Art SCS compression system, system with a removable shim, just in case you ever wanna run oversized bars. But today, like I said, we're gonna be running standard bars, so no need for uh, us to take that out. Blue zero gravity Venom fork that is 125 millimeter compatible. This fork has a slightly longer fork tube than um, other forks just because it's compatible with both SCS and HIC compression. Built-in threads there. So because of that, it, because of it being slightly longer, we're gonna be using the Tilt integrated headset, tall stack edition. The scooter is going to be rolling on 120 millimeter NV wheels, which are really nice and fast. Comes with really nice bearings. We're already pre-installed too, so save any labor. This beautiful Phoenix Ion deck that comes five wide by 22 inches long. Head tube angle of 82 and a half degrees. New style switchblade brake with three bolts, which are pretty nice, keeping that brake solid. Last but not least, we have Hello Grip. OG sloth grip tape, my personal favorite with the white little sloth there. We're gonna go ahead and uh, remove the brake itself just to make sure that it's not in the way when we grip the actual deck itself. Removing the back axle and hardware as well. Oh man, this grip tape barely fits on here. We're gonna have some fun. So now we're gonna go ahead and install our brake again. Oh, reinstall it, sorry. So now we got our scooter deck gripped. We're gonna go ahead and start with the front end. So we're gonna grab our fork, headset, headset bearings, tutorial on our YouTube page on how to properly install integrated headsets. We're gonna go ahead and grab our SCS take out all the hardware on the inside, which are our compression washer and bolt. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, toss some grease on there. So we got our greased up compression bolt. So it threads in there nice and smooth. We're gonna go ahead and switch the compression bolt because it is way too long. So it's kind of bottoming out on the threads in the inside of the fork. So we're just gonna be using a smaller one. Alrighty then, so now we're gonna go ahead and install our front wheel. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and pop our little wheel spacers in there. We're gonna go ahead and make sure our SCS is nice and lined up with the wheel, which it is. Slide our shim in there because we're using standard bars. Then grab our bars and just slide them in, making sure they're lined up with the front wheel. Then we're gonna go ahead and tighten our SCS from the bottom to the top evenly. Snug that one, move on to the next. All right, so this is our final product. Definitely love how the black, silver, and blue came together. Let's go ahead and do a drop test so we can uh, go ahead and check if it's dialed. Oof, super solid. Make it uh, maybe a little noise from the brake, but that's just because the wheels, the urethane on the wheels are a little on the harder side, but it just means they'll last a lot longer. You can pick it up at thevaultproskeeters.com. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment below. Follow us on all social media. Follow me on social media, Instagram. Um, Till next time.